welcome to another UK Maths Challenge Junior Challenge. And in this question, which you might want to pause the video and have a go at first before I go through it, we have a, an interesting combinations type of question. In how many different ways can a row of five on-off switches be set so that no two adjacent switches are in the off position? And adjacent is quite a useful word to, to know. It just means next to each other, side by side. Not opposite, but like side by side, adjacent. Okay. Just to help us out, I've drawn the five switches down here. And at the moment, they're neutral. And on is going to be yellow. And off is going to be black. Now, I'm sure you can think of different combinations just by imagining it. So you can imagine if the first switch was off and the last switch was off then that's going to be one combination where there aren't any two adjacent off switches the slight trouble with that is you, you can tell it's not particularly systematic as in we if we just guess different combinations and then try and add it up we might have missed out a few so i'm going to go through one systematic way so that you can count up all the combinations and be pretty sure you haven't missed any. First, we'd start with the lowest amount. So for example, zero off. Let's imagine there are zero switches that are off. And then we'll count up the tally. So zero switches being off. Let's put it over here. Well, if there's zero off, that means they're all on. So it'd be like, one, two, three, four, five. And that is one combination. You have to agree because there's no two off switches next to each other. So it kind of it works, definitely. So zero off, that's one combination that works. It's a strange combination, but it, it definitely works. How about with one light switch being off? Notice how I'm systematically going to go from zero being off, one being off, two being off, three being off, etc. So I can make sure I've got every single one. Not only that, I'm going to count up there being one off switch systematically. So let's start with the first one being off. That combination works because there aren't any two adjacent switches being off. There's one, two for the second switch being off, two combinations, three if there's just the third switch being off, four and five. So there's five different combinations where there's only one off switch that is off. There's five combinations there. So let's add that on. Now it gets a bit more tricky. What about there being two off switches? Two off. So we're working our way forwards. Two being off. Here's where it gets really quite important to be systematic. You, we could just guess like this one and this one being off. There's one combination and this switch and this switch being off there's another combination but again we'd lose count wouldn't we it'd be, it'd be quite easy to miss a few so how about we start off with the first switch being off and see how many we can do from there then we start off with the second switch being off see how many we can do from there etc then we won't miss any hopefully okay if the first switch is off can the second switch be off as well well, no, because that would mean there were two adjacent or two side-by-side -side off switches, so we can't have that. But the first switch being off and the third one being off, we can have. So that's one combination. The first switch and the fourth switch being off is another combination. That's two. And the first switch and the last switch being off is another combination. So that's three. Let's note that down being ultra systematic here which is really good let's get rid of these and then note it down okay now instead of the first switch being off we've done all the different combinations with the first switch being off let's do the second switch being off can the third switch be off no because that would be adjacent which is being off but the fourth one could be so that's one more combination and the fifth one could be that's another combination so that's two more combinations if the second switch is off that's another two combinations we can add on hunky-dory how about the 
third switch being off here. Well, here's another combination. Ah, but wait, here's the important thing. We've already counted that one because that was the one where the first switch is off and the third switch is off. So don't go backwards, only count looking forwards. This one won't work, the third and the fourth, but the third and the fifth would work. So that's one more further combination. Oh, that's an interesting pattern. Three plus two plus one. Could be something in that. Let's get rid of that and then add the one. Now, if the fourth switch is off and we're working our way forwards, so we can't look back anymore, as I said, and the fifth switch can't be off, so that, that won't work. So there's no more combinations where there's two that are off. Can you guess what we're going to try now? Exactly, we're going to try three of them being off. And now you can see we can be a lot more confident that we've got every single one. With three switches being off, again, let's start at the beginning. So let's imagine the first switch is off. Well, the next one can't be the second switch being off because that would be too adjacent. But it could be the third switch being off. The third uh, switch that's off um, needs to be joined by one more because there needs to be three off switches. And it can't be the fourth one because then they'd be touching. So it would have to be the last one. So that's one more combination. That's a one there. And again, let's get rid of the, and then I'll write the one. Now, finally, can we do another combination? So we saw that we'd reach the end where the first switch is off, but how about if the second switch is off? We need to fit two more off switches in. Well, it can't be the third one. It has to be this one. And then again, we can't, there's no other off switch we can switch without there being um, two next to each other. So with three off switches, there's only one way it works, with the first, middle, and last switch. There we have all our combinations, and I hope you liked how systematic we were when we did that. Finally, we can add them up. One plus five is six, plus three is nine, plus two is 11, plus one plus one is 13. So there are 13 combinations without there being two adjacent off switches. What I would recommend you do though, now we've done that, we're done with that question, is actually to explore all the different patterns and the different numbers you get. For example, if there was four off switches, um, or we needed to have, there was 10 switches in total, how many can you do with only, um, without there being two adjacent off switches? or eight switches in total, seven switches in total, and see if you can spot any patterns. Because as always in maths, there are hundreds of hidden patterns.